Hello everyone. In this video, uh, I'm gonna solve an example of drawing a circuit using only NAND gates. So here we have the mean term expansion of a function f. And also we know that we want to draw the circuit using only NAND gates and also uh, another requirement for this circuit is that it should be a two-level circuit. So what we have to do, we can first draw the Carnot map for this circuit in order to realize function f. And then we can use the realization to draw the function, to draw the circuit basically. Okay, so if I have x, y, z, so we have 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. So 0 will be 0, 0, 0, 1 is 0, 0, 1, 3 will be 0, 1, 1, and then 4 will be 1, 0, 0, and 7 will be 1, 1, 1, okay? So now I can group these ones here in order to realize my function. If you have any questions about how to draw the Carnot map and also how to write the realization of a function using the Carnot map, uh, you can watch my video about um, Carnot map example and also two, three, and four variable Carnot map. I will link them um, in the comment box down below. All right, so I will number these groups so I can easily refer to them, but it is not necessary to do that, okay? So f is equal to the realization of group 1 will be y prime z prime. Group 2 will be x prime y prime. And group 3 is y z. So now I have the realization of the function. I can go ahead and draw the circuit. So first, in these kind of questions, you know that first you have to draw your circuit using and and or gates first so we have three and gates y prime z prime x prime y prime y and z and then all these three nand gates are inputs to an or gate and this is giving me my f so now I have the circuit with AND and OR gates. So basically this one is AND OR circuit. Now I have to transfer this to a circuit using only NAND gates. So for this fact, we know that we have to um, transfer all the NAND gates to this representation of NAND gates with a bubble at the output of the AND gate. And for the OR gate, we know that we have to use the representation of the NAND gate that, it, that has um, bubbles at the inputs of the OR gate. Okay, so now here what we have to do, we know that first of all, we have to look uh, at the bubbles. If we have an inverted output driving an inverted input like this interconnection, we are not doing anything with that, so there is no further action required. So we can leave it as it is. And then we have to see if there is any um, inverted output that is driving an uninverted input or vice versa. Then we have to place an inverter, and this is not the case here. What I'm talking about is that, for example, if we have a gate like this and then so you see that this inverted input is driving a non-inverted output. Then in this case, you have to put an inverter in between, okay, which we don't have here. So if you have any questions about how to transfer these AND OR gates to only NAND gate circuits, um, you can watch my um, video about designing a circuit using only NAND gates. I will also comment that uh, I mean, link that in the comments down below. And the last step is that I have to see if there is any input variable, I mean, if there is any variable which is driving an inverted input. And then I have to complement that 
variable, which is not a case here. So here I don't have to do anything else. This is my circuit using only NAND gates. And if you want to represent the circuit having only NAND, I mean the NAND gates, the typical um, symbol of the NAND gates, you can just transfer that this other representation of the NAND gate to this. Okay, so I hope you understood this uh, material. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments down below. And thanks for watching.